Hey guys, it's Alexis, aka The Sloth Reader, and I am uh, spending a few days at my parents' house. Um, I obviously just got a little haircut, but I had gotten some stuff shipped here, so I just figured I would do an unboxing for you guys. Um, the first thing I have is the Owl Crate box for July, and the theme this month was Good versus Evil. Um, so I will just open it up. I did already. Uh, cut all the tape off of everything, so this tape is annoying. So of course the first thing that comes in the box every month is the little thing mine got a little bent. Um, and so this one tells you what is in every box, and so mine this month, because um, this month they were doing where they sent out half good boxes, half evil boxes, and mine was a good box! Hi baby! Hi baby! Trying to film a video. So the first thing I got in this month's box is this Luna Lovegood Funko Pop. Which is good because I didn't have Luna and I love Luna. We also got this from Vector Engraving. And it is a necklace of the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars, which is awesome. I'm a super huge Star Wars nerd, so I will definitely be very excited to wear that. Um, we got this Alice in Wonderland. Um, this Alice in Wonderland bookmark, magnetic bookmark. We got this... YA covers to color, so it's like a coloring book of YA covers. So they've got like Red Queen and Sing and Lifeboat Click and a bunch of others. So that's really fun because he doesn't want to color. We also got this sticker that is with a quote from a Illum Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jake Kristoff, which was one of my favorite reads of last year. So. I'm excited to find a place for that, and it says, You have me until the last star in the galaxy dies. You have me. So, um, and this month's book, which, by the way, I totally predicted, so I was super excited to get this book, which is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. Victoria Schwab is, of course, one of my all-time favorite authors, so I was super excited for this to be this month's book, and... I just, I, so, I want to start reading it right away because I love Victoria so much. And next, I have a small book outlet order. Um, I bought um, a couple books and I only paid $22 for shipping. And I'm very excited about some of the books I got. So, yeah, I'll just go ahead and get into it. The first book I got for my book outlet order was The Disenchantments by Nina LaCour. Um, I don't really even know that much about this book, but I'm really in love with this cover, and it, I, I just, I've heard, I have yet to actually read a Nina LaCour book, but I've heard so many great things about her stories, and I'm so excited because I just know I'll love them when I get around to it. I also got Six Fins Snow White by Catherine and Valente, and I, I don't, this was such a whim, but I've never heard of this book before at all but it was basically like a western kind of steampunk Snow White retelling and that definitely was really unique and it's very short and I just, I, I heard the premise and I was just like, honestly there's nothing about that I don't want and it was like a dollar or something like that so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get it. The next thing I got is a bind up of the three books in the Visions series by Lisa McMahon. Um, I don't usually like this editions, but I just, I love this cover. And I read Lisa McMahon's Wake trilogy um, years and years ago, and I really enjoyed it. And the premise of this one um, is really good, and it's basically like this girl has visions of a truck colliding um, with her, and like nine people are dead, and she basically has to figure out like what's going on. And I really like Lisa McMahon's, like I said, her previous trilogy, and so I'm excited to just get in and read this, and, you know, maybe I'll really love it, and if not, the cover is just absolutely gorgeous. The next two books I got were books two and three of the, um, Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. 
I've been in a huge dilemma about what editions I wanted to buy for these, and these were super cheap on Book, Lab, Book Outlet, and I decided that these were the editions I want because they're not the mass market paperbacks, and they're super floppy. Ugh. And I just really like these covers a lot out of all of them. They're just the ones that I like the best through the whole series. So yeah, now I have the physical copies for when I get around to reading books two and three. The last book I got is actually the one I was most excited for um, because it was a book that came out this year that I was really unsure of whether or not I wanted to buy. Um, and I had finally kind of made up my mind that I wanted to own a physical copy of it because the cover of the second book was revealed and I really love the cover of the second one and so I was like well I'll go ahead and just get this one and whatever and it was like three dollars on book outlet and so the book I'm talking about is Truth Witch by Susan Denard. I've heard pretty mixed things about this um, but the concept definitely sounds really interesting and I've heard that the friendship between the two main characters is like really cool and I don't know this I just get kind of avatar -y vibes from it so I'm definitely intrigued to check it out and I finally just got a hardcover copy of it so I'm super excited. Alright guys so that was just this little mini um, book haul unboxing video. I don't know if I'll buy any other books in June, probably not, so this will probably be my July book haul. But if I buy anything else, I'll just film a little separate video for that, or I'll just put it on Snapchat or something. But um, thank you guys for joining me today, and I will see you all next time with another video. Bye!